All right, good morning and bonjour. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a part two review of my Z650, which I put part one up a couple of weeks ago on YouTube. Uh, it's just done the 500 miles, so it's been for the service at the main dealer. It costs just over £100, but they don't do a lot for that £100. They change the oil filter and put some lube on the chain. That's about it. Now, I've got a friend in New Zealand. His girlfriend is thinking of getting a second bike. He's trying to persuade her to get one of these, but she's looking at a sports tourer. Now, I would say if you haven't had a bike for 10 years and your last bike was a 250, I wouldn't really go for the sports tourer. I don't know how tall you are, but uh, generally speaking, ladies are a little bit shorter than men. Sports tourers can be quite tall. Having a low seat on this is quite confidence inspiring and it's certainly not slow. I've seen one lunatic on YouTube get up to 130 mile an hour on one of these things, um, which is probably quite feasible. Now I've done 500 miles, I can increase the revs a bit and I've taken this up to 75 miles an hour and it flies up there no problem at all. Going around the bends, it's light and easy to handle, much nicer than my sports tourer. The one disadvantage or bad thing I'd say about this bike is the seat. It's like a plank. You feel like you've had a night of passion with Bubba in a jail cell after being on it for an hour. It is hard. Pillion seat's the same. I'm going to invest in a gel cushion. Um, I put a bean bag on, let me just show you that now. On the back for my missus when we were out the other day. Um, it still hurts, it's not that good. So what I'm going to do now is show you the instrument cluster and um, tell you a little bit about what I've experienced over the last 500 miles. We're looking at the instrument cluster and for the first 500 miles I was limited to 4,000 rest per minute which equates to about 50 miles an hour which is lovely on the country lanes around here but absolutely dangerous on the main roads. Now I can do the legal limit, it's not going to be a handicap. I was also getting up to 82 to the gallon out of this, which is fantastic, and that's doing up to the 50. I would expect that to drop if I was doing motorway speeds, but uh, nevertheless, very impressive. So this is the dash. And the rev counter is digital, and the speedos, you can see the digits. You've got trip meter and the odometer, the time, and you can also see your consumption, your average consumption, there we go, and what you're currently doing and any range left. So it's it's quite a useful dashboard, I quite like it, it's grown on me. The bike comes standard with ABS, let me just fire it up for you. The other thing I forgot to mention, it's got a digital gear display on this, it tells you what gear you're in, which uh, even after all these years of riding, I find very, very useful. Um, the other things you see on here, that's my control for a camera, if I've got a helmet cam on, and this is a mechanical gizmo that's a, a cruise control. So basically, when your throttle's open, you push it down, it sticks on the brake lever. So if you want to sort of exercise your hand after the long... Um, I'll say that again. <laughs> if your hand's got a bit of cramping, that sounds a bit dodgy. Hand's got a bit of cramping, then you can keep the throttle open while you sort of move your hand around. I don't use it that often for fairly obvious reasons on normal roads, but I have used it on motorways and it's great. I find that the mirror's okay. Going round the bends, I really like it. It's so light and chuckable. Um, my missus found, apart from the hard seats, she found the, the room on the back, even though it looks the size of a postage stamp, actually absolutely fine. So overall, at the moment, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted with this bike. When I get up to a thousand miles, then I'm going to do an oil change myself. That's not part of the Kawasaki maintenance schedule. So I'm happy then that any gunk, any metal from the uh, factory when the engine was made, uh, it will then be out and then I can open it up to its full potential. But overall, absolutely cracking bike. You say it's, it's a nice low seat height and I'm really enjoying that. So I've got my feet flat on the ground and my knees bent. And it's, it's quite comfortable. You feel like you're sitting in the bike when you're on it. I really like it. Anyway, folks, I shall do another review when I put a few more miles on. Until then, bye for now.